today I'll tell you how can we align an infrared laser beam using our smartphone. I figured out this is small little neat trick while I needed to make this fluorescence of conversion apparatus in my lab. So for aligning an infrared beam what I have here is a infrared fluorescence card uh, which is not an ideal way to align the infrared laser beam because it produces a much bigger spot size than I need for precision alignment. So let me show you how this fluorescence card actually works and before that uh, I would like to show you that I have this coherent chameleon's titanium sapphire laser which can produce approximately 140 femtosecond pulses at 85 megahertz repetition rate and at present this laser is set at 849 nanometers which is very near to the peak and also it's 150 nanometer offset from the visible red light and what I'm doing here is I'm actually shooting this laser on on a beam block so you can see here that there is a laser light shooting at the beam block and I'll put this infrared card in front of it and you will see it produces a much bigger spot size than I need but if you look closer using your smartphone you will see this purple dot which is visible just through your smartphone and you can also see this that this dot is visible even when I turn off the lights in my room it's even brighter so as you can see that our eyes cannot see this infrared light but for some reason this smartphone camera can pick it up uh, I'm guessing it may be just the if you if you Fourier transform the 150 femtosecond pulse width uh, you can see it's a very bad very broad spectrum and probably some of the light is still there in in the red spectrum so maybe we are seeing that red light or it's just a static that is actually saturating the camera pixel and that's how the camera is picking it up uh, it could be either of the reason but we can see this laser beam through our smartphone so uh, let me change the frequency uh, let me change the wavelength of the laser and let's see if we can still see this light so I'm going to change this uh, wavelength of laser from 849 nanometers to let's say 950 so let me shut it off first and then change it to 950 and when you select so it will just select that wavelength status ok and I'll shut it open so let me turn on the lights first uh, so you can see that you can see this very small nicely round purple dot which is the light that we are seeing at 950 nanometers and it's nicely visible even if you turn off the lights so you can see this here so wow it's a very nice and neat trick that you can use for aligning your infrared light with very high precision let's change one more time our wavelength to extreme infrared that this laser can do and this laser can do up to 1080 nanometers so let's go there uh, so this is 1080 when you select as you can also notice the power is also going down so I have very less power around 10% of the power that I had at 850 so 420 milliwatt power I have right now let's see so okay we are at 1080 and now I open the shutter so okay let's go back and see if we can see this 1080 uh, so I'm just trying to focus on it yes so you can see this red dot which we are seeing at 1080 nanometers so let's turn on the lights and see if we can focus on it so yes even with the lights on you can see it's really really faint but if you focus on it we can still see this so as you can see what I'm showing you here is you can just use your smartphone camera and see the infrared light with very high precision 
and you can align the laser light in your lab. So thank you very much guys for watching this video.